obviously a key part of preparation for a race bike or a track bike safety wire. Yep, it's mandatory for some you know track days certain things are, and for racing even more things are required. And at the end of the day, I, I got to tell you, there's two things, maybe even three things, that should be safety wired. If you work on your own bike doing it for the street, it's not a bad call because what it is, it's a system that checks and balance to make sure that you have your drain plug tight, yep. that you have your oil filter tight, and that you have your radiator cap, you know, locked in place. And if you have safety wires, the last thing that you do. It makes it kind of hard to leave the drain plug loose or the filter yep. loose, so on and so forth, because you got to touch it. And it's easy to get sidetracked. You start doing one thing and you get pulled over to another thing, and you know you forgot something. So the safety wire ensures that okay, at a visual check, it's tight, it's good, we're all set. And it also ensures that when you go to the track, you're probably not going to be that guy. You don't want to be that guy. We've said that already. You do not want to be that guy crashing, oiling the track where you're down for a half hour, hour, and people are mad. When it wrecks the corner for a long time. Yeah. It's yeah. No, nobody wants to do that. So if you want to come in a little closer, let's kind of show. Here is the drain plug. And essentially what you're doing is Eddie's drilled through the drain plug, right? Wired up to. There is. Did you drill that little hole right there? A little hole there with okay. the tab. But you can kind of find, you know, another bolt, whatever, whatever's, you know, not yeah, if you, moving. If you're not comfortable drilling a hole in it, you could have even come back here and kind of pulled it through that bracket. There's a lot of different ways yeah. to get there, yeah. right? I would agree with what you did there. That's the right way to do it. You drilled a nice little hole right there. Not a big deal. The oil filter, there's a couple of ways to do this. You can use a hose clamp big enough to get around the filter. You drill a hole through the head of the clamp. Safety wire it. You put the clamp on, you tighten it, safety wire through it, and then you drill the little hole here in one of the engine oil pan bolts. Right. Another way to get there is K&N offers a filter that actually has a nut it's spot welded to the top. It makes it easy to get it on, easy to get it off. 17 millimeter wrench. Personally, love that. And there's a hole drilled in it. You run the safety wire right through there. We sell a ton of these. These are the only ones I use because it makes it easier to get the filter on and off. Easy to safety wire. Other areas of the bike where you're certainly going to want to address with safety wire: front brakes, caliper bolts. With these, we just kind of put, I mean this is just kind of addressing this tubing, but with on a race weekend when we're constantly changing wheels and putting on new tires, we want something that's easy. So these clips make it easy. You could just do a direct safety wire if you're not going to be changing them a lot, uh, but this makes for easy changing. Same thing here, front axle, front pinch bolts. Pinch bolts, this is a little bit tricky. We normally would use safety wire here, but given the way these bolts are, we're able to drill holes in every side so you can kind of line it up so you can put one hitch clip right through. If you guys can't tell, Eddie's pretty particular about his race bike prep. Obviously, this caliper and pinch bolts are done the same way. Radiator cap, oil, oil fill cap, dipstick. Some people may require you not to use a clip like this. Um, and you just directly safety wire it. That's what we'll be doing for any EMA racing. We mandate that. The exhaust hanger bolt. It's not a bad idea. I'll tell you, I've lost a couple, not lost, but had a couple of those bolts fly out where the exhaust is flailing and you get a corner worker waving their hands crazy and you do not want to lose a high-priced exhaust can. Well, it could be the end of a race, too. You could be out front and your exhaust starts banging around and you get waved in. And then, of course, the rear axle, which is key. You'll see here, to make it easy, because it can be frustrating when you're torquing, it's a specific torque, you know, you don't get everything lined up. We drill every side of the nut so that no matter where it is, you have an easy way to clip it. And just so it's quick and easy, you don't spend a bunch of time on it. And I think one of the last things we need to talk about is going to be the cooling system. Mm -hmm. When you're on the racetrack, um, high performance motors built, we've seen them blow up, it happens, right? Hoses blow, things happen. Your standard ethylene glycol coolant, the green stuff, that stuff gets on the racetrack, it's like the kiss of death. I think that's harder to clean than oil. So many track day organizations, and certainly all the racing organizations, have different requirements for, for riders when they're out there on track. The one that's probably most widely known is going to be water wetter. And that is a little bit of this, and the majority is going to be just water, distilled yeah, water. That'll work for whatever riding you're doing. I mean, assuming you're not going to let it freeze, track days, racing, you're good across the board there. But there are some good alternatives to that for those of us that live in the colder climates, right? And let's say that you're not, you're not racing. Some racing organizations do allow the PG coolant because it's not the ethylene glycol base. Some do, some don't. You really need to check. 
Most of your track organizations are going to allow this. Okay, but check the rules, check the regulations before you do your service and make sure you get the right stuff in there, and that is key. If you do use this, don't let your bike sit anywhere where it's cold. It'll freeze, you'll pop out freeze plugs. If you're lucky, it's a disaster. Last thing with the cooling system, I don't think we can catch this on camera, radiator guard, Cox radiator guards. We sell those here. What they do is they protect the radiator from debris flying up into the radiator as you're riding. A hole in a radiator can wind up in a blown motor. Ask our friend Dave Gray about that. He lost a motor one time, I think at Nelson Ledges, with a hole in a radiator. And it's really expensive. I think we pretty much covered it soup to nuts. What do you think? Yeah, got I mean, this is pretty ex extensive and check with your organization or track day provider on what exactly you need to wire. Questions, comments, whatever you got, put them on the YouTube channel. That's great. You can also email us for sure. Orders at sportbiketrackgear.com. Get a hold of any one of the staffers like that. 888-784-4327. We're also available toll-free.